Okay guys, in this video I will show you how to properly apply all the materials uh, you need for complete this scene. So let's begin. First of all I will concentrate on my chair um, and uh, I have already the texture from the downloaded model but uh, I think it's a good uh, idea to apply it uh, apply the materials with you to to try together so let's start create shader Virai bridge Virai advanced material name it wood chair go to my folder I have already as you can see all the text um, that I need to create this uh, the shaders for my chair go to my material editor diffuse layer and the diffuse layer uh, sorry we rename it zero one because I have two good materials and my text of the diffuse layer I'm going to apply this bolero wood diffuse texture done good and my speckler activated and apply in my speckler color my bolero wood reflection copy it and paste it on my texture of the reflection glossiness good now the last thing to do to complete this material I activate my is activate my bump map go to my body root bump and apply it to my layer okay and the power I think is too heavy but maybe I try it to 0 0.5 centimeter and see what happens when I apply it to my chair so go to my chair ottoman chair base select the proper oh, disable my alien now select the proper space of wood Okay, so I think okay, so let's try to apply it to this part of my chair. Is the sides so first of all to see better results in my preview I'm going to change my map preview size to a more reasonable size it's not good this is better. I see the texture is good for my model. Yeah, it's a good start. Duplicate it. Go to diffuse layer, and I will apply a little color correction to this to create the second layer of wood on this chair. I think so. I have some problem here because this is not wood, but this is a simple rubber, so I don't need the second wood. Sorry. Uh, 
I need metal material for these two rivets so create new ray advanced material name it chrome or iron the fuse set it up like 25 brightness IOR 3 and there we go we have our iron material set it up so 0 0.8 make this good and apply it to this material selection tag okay so I have my iron pins set it up properly now I'm going to duplicate it because the uh, rubber material is similar to the iron one but with some adjustments in specular and uh, diffuse uh, layer so set it up the 1.6 decrease to the 0 0.65 maybe is good yes decrease the specular color of about 80 percent yeah and let's try 40 now too much so I think 30 too much so 20 20 is good for my diffuse of the rubber and apply it no, sorry I want to select this with my tag and apply or rename it rubber sorry and apply, and apply it to my rubber of my chair okay do the same with applying these materials to my legs of the chair I don't know <laughs> the name is it of this object in English but doesn't matter so select it Ottoman base Ottoman is not a chair is Ottoman okay I know now okay so that's the first selection is rubber apply it select the second selection that is wood and apply the wood material yeah um, this is the quickest way with a downloaded model I have already the UV map uh, properly um, applied to my material to my 3D model so all I have to do is drag and drop my texture for now okay the basic wood of my chair is set it up now I'm going to create my ladder shader for the ottoman and the chair base Create shader gray bridge gray advanced material name it header make it 15% of brightness it's uh, equal to create a gray of um, it's almost black and now I will apply my text of this oh sorry this uh, leather text and let's try to multiply it it's too dark so increase my okay to obtain my desired effect is not good let's try to invert this text and see what happens mm, yeah I love it and it is a good start yeah this is a good text for me copy this activate my specular 
take the vector here and here. Decrease this value to 1.3 and the reflection glossing values to 0 0.7 maybe. Yes, I think it's good. Now go here and reapply the not inverted texture to it. I think it's a good start. Yeah, as you can see, my preview is very good. I will try to exaggerate this value to see what happens. But I don't see nothing. Reduce to one. Mm. Because I don't have my bump open up. Okay, it's too heavy. Zero point zero one zero point one. Let's try to zero point one amount of this bump. What happens? Good. It is awesome leather material, as you can see. Okay, I'm happy with it, so I close it and apply it to my leather of the chair. I'm doing this to um, free some memory of my computer. I'm going to wood materials and in option and go to map preview size and reset it to default value. And doing this, activate again my scene and see what happens in render of my chair. No, delete it because I can't get a test. Okay, I am pretty happy with my shader of leather, but I think it's too grey. So, let's stop the render, go to my leather shader and try to reduce the color of the diffuse to about 50%. Percents. Let's see what happened in render.
I think I think uh, the middle is the middle way is better than this so stop it now okay and go to maybe 20% let's see what happens so delete it because I don't want and wait for this render to compare with the previous one Okay, I think it's the correct value for my ladder. Um, maybe I wanted to change a little bit my reflection of it, the reflection of it. So I'm going to stop it. And I think I want to go to specular. And I wanted to reduce a little bit my reflection glossiness. Let's try to 0 0.6 to have a very uh, blurred re reflection. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, by blurring up the reflection, I have a little bit increasing refle reflection on these areas, and I really like it. Yeah, I prefer this. And wait a moment to see better my wood material. But I think it is good for me. Okay, I think my wood material is set it up properly. Uh, 
maybe it's too strong in my bump so I will decrease my bump so stop it up so the, the render decrease the bump power of my material so 0 0.01 maybe it's good and do the same in my leather texture so 0 0.05 because the leather has some bumpy maps uh, in it uh, that is increase the realism of my of the material okay so now i will apply the wood shader of my round table here to finish it so I'm go to my texture folder I have the texture already here in my folder so I'm going to create a new wood material so V-Ray Bridge V-Ray Advanced Materials and name it table uh, wood underscore zero one in the diffuse layer I will apply oh sorry drag and drop wrong it activate my specular layer drag and drop this pixel copy it and apply in the specular layer of glo in the gl reflection glossiness. Sorry, paste it and see what happens. I think it's good, and maybe this I want this reflection a little bit lower, so 0 0.8 on the mix strand of my map, and I think. I can reduce the effects of my reflection here for this map, activate bump and paste it. Open my preview and see what happens. Maybe. work but anyway I think it's a good start with my material as you can see here from my quick preview so I will apply it to my table here yeah I think it's good and I think have to bal um, to equalize my color of my wood to create a little uh, to have the same type of wood in my scene. It's uh, it's up to you. It's not important for the render, but I think it's a good. Uh, it create a good feeling in the scene. So I go to my diffuse layer my texture layer color apply a filter to my texture and let's try to let's play with my uh, not saturation sorry my hue so go to saturation zero and let's play let's play with my hue to reach the correct value for my boot shader
increase a bit, 20% my saturation. I think it's a good start. Now decrease my hue to three three five. Too much. Three three seven. Always too much. Three three four zero. Too much. Three four five. Maybe we are. And let's try to fifty percent. Okay, I think it is not the same wood, but it's quite the same. So let's try. No, mm. maybe a little bit of contrast can help us. Think it's good. Three, four, three. Two red. My same three four seven. Here we are. I think it's a good start for my side table. Wood. Okay, so I want to create uh, another material. Let's try with uh, advanced material, uh, name it bronze or gold as you can, as you what you want. Let's create a metal, so diffuse almost black or black, so I think 5% is good for me. Specular layer activated. Let's increase this to 8, by the way. And let's try to create a bronze yellow. This is like brass, bronze brass, let's just say 0 0.6. Too, uh, too much, 0 0.7. Okay, this is what I want. I create this material to apply it to my to this piece. Of my side table. Okay, I think it's good. After doing this, I will apply maybe I will create maybe we can apply this texture to my frame here so i'm going to create shader v-ray bridge v-ray advanced materials double click on it rename it picture activate my specular layer and in the diffuse Layer texture, I'm going to apply this photo. Select my frame. And I think this we have a little bit of. Okay, this is not a good start. <laughs> Some little problem with this, maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, first thing to do is apply a glass shader to these parts. Maybe. 
doesn't collaborate. Okay, good. This is my frame, so I'm gonna create a new advanced material, name it frame zero one, make it almost black. Maybe we can add a little bit of reflection simple reflection and apply it to my frame and here I will apply my picture to it I think it's okay but we try to see it in render to see what happens so render um, I wanna have a little quick render of my frame so I go to render a little region and it doesn't work okay maybe we have a little bit of problems so to fake this I think this model is not good but anyway double click on this it and there we go let's see what happens now render render region let's see what happens here we go good I think it's a good start okay we can delete it because we don't want it save the scene for now and reactivate my building stuff.